Hello, hello everyone and happy Friday. Hope that you're all having a beautiful day. I'm excited today because we made it to the weekend. Let's go. And shout out to all the early gang. I saw Captain Rafa last night, Susan, Stelios Lampakis, Market Scraper, and Sir Bane. Thank you, thank you very much. And thank you, Sir Bane, for the two months membership flexing it, saying, heading for bed, my guy, working weekend for me. Have an awesome stream, pull some fire, much love, fam. Thank you so much, Sir Bane. Truly appreciate the positive message and the kindness and hope that you have an awesome day tomorrow as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by and dropping the positivity and appreciate you being part of the Manatee Nation for two months. Thank you, you legend. And make sure y'all check out Sir Bane as well. He's got an awesome channel and does giveaways and other hype fun content, gaming content as well. So make sure you check out Sir Bane. Yo, we got Brian Bear as well. How you doing, Brian Bear? Stelios Lampakis saying hello, hello, Albino. Hello, hello, Stelios. How's it going? And thank you as well to everyone who's reached out about my knee. Thank you very much. A lot of people sent DMs over the week, so I really just asking how it was doing or asked me when they saw me in different chats over the week. So I really appreciate that update. It's truthfully not feeling great. Today was it was particularly actually bothering me a lot. I do have an MRI scheduled for next Wednesday and hoping to get some uh, more clarification and next steps then. But I did just get done icing it for the last hour. I've taken ibuprofen. I've, I've let it rest. So I'm feeling I'm feeling good right now. And thank you very much everyone for your support. AJ's Pokemon. Hey, AJ's Pokemon. How's it going? What are you chasing for right now? Are you opening up Temporal Forces? Are you opening up any of the Japanese Pokemon sets? The Crimson Haze? What are you hunting for? How are you doing, AJ's Pokemon? Jonathan86. How's it going, Jonathan86? Happy to see you. Jonathan86 was one who reached out about the knee. Thank you very much, Jonathan. How are you doing today? We got a lot of medley of things that we're going to be opening up today, so I want to drop on over into the card cam and show that off because... We've got Pokemon, we've got UFC bonus content, and we've got One Piece. They did release a new One Piece product, the Three Brothers Ultra Deck. And so I opened up a video on the channel I posted yesterday. Thank you to everyone who watched that video. And we are going to be giving away in this stream, in the giveaway pile, a card pulled from that. So the Curly the Dan Alt Art, which is actually a good card. It's a blocker, and on play, you can play up to one each of the Monkey D. Luffy, Portkus D. Ace, and I think it's Sab Sabo as well, that are two costs. Tina! Yo, Tina Marie! How's it going? How are you doing? Hope that you're having an awesome day. Brian Bear says, my brother got a Paradox Rift Booster Box for his birthday. We're opening it now while we, wait, while we watch your stream. That is awesome, Brian. Yo, good luck. We're halfway through now. We got a Gold Roaring Moon and a Yevato Art Rare. That's sick, Brian. Those are great hits. Really, really like that Yevato artwork. The Gold Roaring Moon is dope. That's a really cool card. Awesome, awesome, awesome hits there. And hope you get some more fire. Thanks for letting me know. And good luck to you and your brother. Happy birthday as well to your brother as well. Can we get some birthday cakes for Brian Bear's brother? I'm curious what your brother's favorite Pokemon is. AJ's Pokemon says, yeah, I'm trying to complete the master set of Temporal Forces. You're six cards away? That's crazy, AJ. That's crazy. What six cards are you missing? Susan saying hello to Tina Marie. Savin Brass is saying hello to everyone. How you doing, Susan? How you doing, Savin Brass? Giggs JV says, yo, Albino. Starter Deck 13 was awesome. I agree, Giggs JV. I agree. Have you opened up any yourself? I'm trying to see if we can pull an alternate art leader. I think that'd be really, really cool, especially the Monkey D. Luffy. I think he's going to be a really playable leader in the game. I think he's going to be a tier one leader even. Yo, Poke Trainer Collectibles, PKT, how's it going? Legend yourself, everyone go check out PKT Collectibles. Congrats on picking up some of the starter decks yourself. And thank you, Jonathan86, dropping the birthday kicks, birthday cakes for Brian Bear's brother. Susan dropping the birthday cakes, Savin dropping the birthday cakes. Awesome to see. Savin, have you added any more Gardevoirs to your collection? His favorite Pokemon is Psyduck. That's a great favorite Pokemon. Oh, that is awesome. Psyduck, always getting the brain freeze. Daxgrass Master dropping the fire for the Tops Chrome. Let's go, Dax. Let's see if we can pull some Alex Perea Poetons. What's really cool about the Tops Chrome they didn't do for the Panini UFC cards, they pick certain fights. Like the past one that they did was the main event for UFC 300. 
And whichever fighter wins, either Jamal Hill or Alex Prey in the main event, you can send in any cards you have to your local comic uh, card shops or specific card shops online and get credit for them, store credit for them. So they'll, they'll just buy back the cards from you. $20 for a base card, $40 for any refractor non-numbered. I think it's $100 for any numbered Alex Perea. If it's a lower numbered one, then it's $200. So if we could pull an Alex Perea from here, even a base, that would be that would be awesome. So that's the bonus content for today's stream. If you haven't already, we'd greatly appreciate it if you could smash that like button. We are going to be opening up the Ultra Deck of the Three Brothers. We also picked up the Armor Rouge EX Premium Collection. So this is a new product that just officially released today. I really like these promos, these sparkly Cosmo Hollow Foil promos. So it's nice that we're getting the Saru Ledge and the Charcadet, but I also really like that they've been including these magnetic one-touch displays with certain premium collections. So I really wanted to add this one to the collection and awesome that we could snag it. And it's a pretty good pack selection as well. So let's see if we could pull something that we're hunting for from Temporal Forces, because we've also got two ETVs and two packs of Temporal Forces, the future and the ancient paradox. I am in particular hunting for, boom. Some special illustration rares. The Gouging Fire, the Raging Bolt, the Morty's Conviction. Those would those would be some of my top chases for sure. Yo, we got Mythic Monty in the house. We got Cali Dude in the house. Pokey Trainer KD. How's it going, everyone? Welcome, welcome. How are you all doing? Chrome Secured. Ooh, Mythic Monty. Sounds like Mythic Monty picked up a Topps Chrome Hobby Box, which those are a big swing. Two guaranteed autos. Pricier boxes, uh, around the $280 mark, but you can get some really, really sick cards in those. So excited to see that and excited to watch you open it up in the Discord tonight, Mythic Monty. Yo, we got King's Pokemon Empire and we got Pocket Packs, Pocket Packs. Flex in the 15 months, let's go Pocket. How are you doing? You got me belly drumming early. Let's freaking go. Thank you, thank you, Pocket, for dropping the hype. Thank you for being a member of the Manatee Nation for 15 months. If you haven't already, go check out Pocket Packs. Pocket, are you going to be opening up any of the next One Piece set? I think it's coming out in a couple weeks, like two or three three weeks, I think. The next extra booster memorial collection for the One Piece with the Chopper manga artwork. Curious if you're going to be snagging any for yourself and opening it up any. How are you doing? Make sure y'all check out Pocket Packs and drop some love for him in the chat as well. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Pocket. Appreciate your support. Thank you for being a member of the Manatee Nation for a year and three months, 15 months. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Popstar Cheetos, yo, how's it going? Popstar Cheetos jumping in. Welcome, welcome. Jonathan86 dropping the hashtag PP. Hottie Box says Dax Grass Master. Oh, you know for sure, says Pocket Packs. Mythic Monty saying hello to Susan, dropping the happy Friday. Yo, thank you for the positive vibes, Mythic Monty and everyone. Rick VMAX says Albino Nakama. Yo, how's it going, Rick VMAX? Welcome, welcome. We got some One Piece, Rick VMAX Nakama. Off Center Johnny, Off Center Johnny was the first to watch and comment on the Three Brothers Ultra Deck video. So thank you so much for the support. Off Center Johnny, we're going to be opening up another one on the stream today. And we're also going to be giving away the Curly Dedan. In, included in the Marble Race winner from today's streams giveaway pile. In fact, let's get that Marble Race going. I'm going to log into Streamlabs right now. And we'll... Oh, you know what? I clicked the wrong link. Cancel. Log in with this. This. Wow. Moving on into the cloud bots. Clicking into the giveaways tab. Marble race start giveaway. Let's go. Yo, and I haven't even talked about speaking of some UFC action. I didn't even mention, did anyone watch UFC 300 over this past weekend? That was one of the craziest events both on paper and how it played out live, I've ever watched. So we watched that one in the Discord and it was epic. The Max Holloway versus Justin Gagey fight is probably the craziest knockout, craziest ending I've seen in UFC history. They threw down, complete brawl, 
planted their feet, didn't move the last 10 seconds of the fight when Max Holloway was already ahead and could have just won the fight on the judges' scorecard. And with one second left, he got the knockout blow on Justin Gagey. And I can't wait till Nate Brown gets in here in the chat because for weeks, if not months, Nate Brown's been in the Discord saying that Max Holloway is going to win. He's going to knock out Justin Gagey. And everyone was saying, nah, Nate, you're crazy, Nate. You're you're loco, Nate. You're wrong. And in fact, Justin Gagey's going to win and knock out Max Holloway. So awesome to see Nate Brown stick it. Stick it to everyone, basically. And awesome to see Max Holloway come out with the dub. And also, I'm a big fan of Alex Perea. He won in the main event, and it was an incredible finish. And I'm hoping that we can add some more Alex Perea cards to the collection. Like this kaboom. I saw, that's great. A shout out to all the Nakamos who appreciate that brother's deck. Yo, let's go Rick V Max. Rick Hot Pockets. Dax, Jonathan, KPE, KD, Bane, Market, Off Center Johnny saying hello to everyone. OPO3 and OPO5 and O6 is where it's at, at my opinion. Dax Grassmaster, those are some great sets for sure. Great sets for sure. OPO3 has a ton of banger alt, um, alt arts, especially I like that Big Mom crew. I know you're not as big of a fan of the yellow. And OPO5, I think, is one of the best trading card sets out there. I mean, the three manga potential. I haven't pulled one, but maybe one day we could pull one. Holmes screwed my bet slip. Ah, oh, are you talking about Holly Holly Holm? Yeah, she. I, I, that was oh oh. Are you talking about um? Or are you talking about Justin Gagey? Holly Holm or Justin Gagey? I'm loving the little version of the three brothers. Me too, Off Center Johnny. I really like the young the young kid artwork of the Sabo, Ace, and Luffy. That would be awesome if we could pull an alternate of those. Let's warm up. Warm up with a little single pack to get things started. If you haven't already, exclamation mark raffle to get entered into the giveaway marble race at the end of the stream. Code card. IDX Gaming jumping in the raffle. Fire energy to start things off. Yo, Kobe Mark. How's it going, Kobe Mark? Toracat. Grubbin. We're starting off with a little first pack. We get some first pack magic. Frostmoth. Golurk. Shaman. Cypher Maniacs Code Breaking. The Delmice Reverse. Ooh, first pack magic. The Charge a Bug Illustration Rare. Let's go. I did not have this one. Awesome Binder Love on the first pack. Single Blister. Single Blister, first pack magic, Binder Love. That's how we like to start the streams off. Let's go. I'm grabbing some sleeves because I didn't already have some. Of the pool. How did I not see that coming right off the bat? Let's go. Susan dropping the pals. OT bestie, OTP's bestie, Rena dropping the love for Susan. Appreciate you, Rena. Thank you as well, Rena, for reaching out about my knee. Appreciate that. Popstar Cheetos jumping in the raffle. Pokey Trainer KD dropping the love for Sick House Off Center Johnny. Albino, by the way, if you get any buggies for trade, I'll give you a good offer. Ooh, are there are there buggies in the Three Brothers, or are you just talking about buggies in general in One Piece? Because I can let you know. First pack magic, says Dax Grassmaster. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. That's how we like to start. A little first pack magic. I think I think with that, let's let's go into the walking wake. Let's jump right into the walking wake, ETB. We'll do the walking wake, and then we can decide if after the walking wake. Do we want to do the Armor Rouge Premium Collection, or do we want to do the Ultra Brothers, the the Three Brothers Ultra Ultra Deck? Susan says, "How many people have suggested knees over toes?" To be honest, not that many. Just Wild Bill. Every time I talk to them, <laughs> Aaron Munn jumping on the raffle. Jr. Lender jumping on the raffle. Welcome, welcome. How y'all doing? Thanks for joining us. Happy Friday. Let me know too, is the music too loud? It sounds a little loud on my end, but I, I might just I might just be old. Alright. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. 
four. Yeah, we got eight packs. There should be a nine. Yeah, that's why we count. Nine. Ooh, the Raging Bolt artwork. We'll save that one for last because I would love to pull the Raging Bolt special illustration rare. And if we could do it out of a Raging Bolt pack, I mean, that would be sick. It would be a movie. Pokey Dad's jumping in the raffle. I think out of three brothers, I'd trade for the Garb Dad in and little versions of the three brothers. Those, those are great choices. Those are great choices. We'll be giving away the Dad in today. I won, I won all nine of the three brother artworks. Yo, Pokey Dad, thank you for subscribing. Pokey Dad, appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's your favorite Pokemon, Pokey Dad? Appreciate you for subscribing to the Manatee Nation. Thanks for joining us in the chat as well, and good luck in the giveaway. We'll be doing a marble race at the end of the stream, giving away hits that we pull during the stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kobe Mark saying hello to Pokey Dad. Fire energy. Appreciate that, Kobe Mark. Safe Sala, how's it going? Finizen. We got the Reuniclus. We got the Mist Energy. Sawsbuck. The Feraligator Reverse. I love me some Gen 2. Reverse Heatmore. And the Gouging Fire EX. All right, starting off with an EX of the Gouging Fire. Can we evolve it? Can we evolve it into a special illustration rare? That one is going into the giveaway pile. So we got currently the Curly Dedan and the Gouging Fire. Safe Sala dropping the shades. Let's go. How's it going, Safe? How's your day been? How's everyone's week been? And does anyone have anything they're looking forward to this weekend? I'm looking forward to the boxing fight between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia has been acting crazy leading up to this fight. And people thought it was an act. They thought he was just a marketing genius. He just missed weight for the fight by 3.2 pounds. And he said before, he said yesterday, and he, he just agreed and honored it. So he is going to do it. He said he would pay... Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia said he would pay Devin Haney $500,000 for every pound he missed weight by. And he missed weight by three pounds, so he's going to pay him $1.5 million. Roselia, Susan's excited for the hockey playoffs. Yes, I'm excited for that too. Tampa Bay Lightning playing um, 1230 p.m. this Sunday. Reuniclus against the Panthers. Future Booster Energy Capsule Reverse. Reverse Cottony and the Relicanth. Ooh, that's our second Relicanth out of three packs so far today. I'm finally done with work. Going, um, going to work again six hours from now. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear Safe Sala that you gotta work again, but glad to hear at least that you're you're making that money. I hope they're paying you well. Raffle Albino, how's it going? Yo, definitely not Derek Reyes. It's it's going well, my man. It's going well. How are you doing? I'm working this weekend. Ooh, well, Kobe Mark, I hope you can make that money as well. Dakcraft Master, dropping the money bags. Too easy. Wait, Dax, are you are you are you rooting for the Panthers or are you rooting for the Lightning? Let's go, Rangers! Mythic Monty, that sick demented freak, is a Rangers fan. Sorry, I say that about anyone who's a Rangers fan. I love you, Monty. Duosian. I will say Matt Rampy is turning me into a Rangers fan one one fight at a time. But him. Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. I would love to see a Rangers Lightning series in the in the playoffs. That would be awesome. I don't read anything Monty says, says Susan. Susan's throwing the heat out here, the fighting words. Reverse Rabombi. Reverse Crocodile. You know what? Just a reverse, but I like this reverse. I like this artwork. I love me the Gen 2. I love me the little alligator. The jerky artwork. That's a nice one. And the Drampa. President's Trophy Curse, says Mythic Monty. Caps all day, says Off Center Johnny. Dashgrass Masters laughing in the chat for losing weight. I'm a Buccaneers fan. Hey, nice. Nice to hear. The Panthers were my fave team when I was a kid. Oh, that's awesome, Tina Marie. Do you have a favorite team right now? Raging Bolt Pack up next. Oh, wow. Let's see how many... Okay, so we got five, six packs left. Okay, we've only opened up three packs. Three packs, we've gotten an EX. Let's ramp it up right now. Let's hear a little special. No playoffs for me, I'm a Habs fan. Oh no, Jonathan86. I am sorry, I am sorry to hear that. I hope, hope next year they could do a little bit better. 
steel energy. I was feeling because I know I know we got a lot of uh, we got a lot of hab stands in the Pokemon card community. So I was feeling for y'all some of these games. Chat hot. Missed energy. Sawsbuck. Cypher Maniacs code breaking. Let me know in the chat. Would you like to see some hockey cards get opened up sometime on the channel? Because I, I think that could be fun. I've dipped around in enough variety. I'm surprised myself I haven't touched any hockey yet. If, if they have a Matt Rempe rookie card next year, I, I'll go for that for sure. But uh, let me know if anyone has any suggestions for any uh, hockey sets to open. Cypher Maniacs code breaking. Reverse Yamper. Reverse Mudsdale? Oh, the Terra EX for the Frigiraf EX. Nice. So we're going to add that one into the giveaway pile as well. Nice little Terra EX for the Frigiraf. Yo, Rubicon just subscribed. Thank you, Rubicon. Appreciate you subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How's it going, Rubicon? It's funny. I was just actually watching earlier um, a Gundam series. Random. Gundam. 0080, The War in the Pocket. It's an anime from 1989, a six episode series. And the operation that they're running in the series is called Operation Rubicon. So I know it took a while for me to loop back around and why I was talking about the Gundam series, but thank you for subscribing Rubicon and welcome. I'm curious, what's the inspiration for the name? Oh, and it sounds like Kobe Mark is going to be making that money. $14.45 an hour. Let's go, Kobe. Mr. The Tiger's jumping in the raffle. How you doing, Mr. The Tiger? And you get overtime too? Sick, Kobe. Glad to hear. Glad to hear. All right. Did I did I do that? I did this. I did this pack. We, we had the Fur Giraffe EX. All right. Next pack. How's it going? A Rubicon. Oh, yeah. The, 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 the Bedard. Yeah. That would definitely I've been seeing a lot of a lot of posts about the value of especially of like his young gun cards and stuff are are big right now. So that, that could be worth worth opening for. OTP Best Arena dropping the Gengar hype. Susan dropping the fire. Dan C, yo, how's it going, Dan C? Welcome, welcome. Rapid ass jumping in the raffle. Boltunt. Mudsdale. Reverse Metagross. Reverse, Mr. Mime. Ooh, and the Fluttermane. All right, we got four packs left. The Elite Four of this ETB. Let's get something nice. Topps Chrome NHL. I don't think that they have Topps Chrome because it's made by Upper Deck, so it's a different company. And it's interesting how they do the years in hockey. I learned that it's not just like in um, UFC, it's 2022, 2023, 2024. Every year you get a new batch of rookies. But for hockey, they do 2023 to 2024. So it's two years included. But then sometimes throughout that two years, they'll like live update it and add more. Yo, Nate Brown! Nate Brown dropping the gifted membership. Let's go, Nate Brown. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gifted the membership for Aaron Munn. Too kind of you. We were talking about you earlier in the stream. Let's go. The max all the way. Get the dub. Let's freaking go. You were the believer. Nate Brown was championing the Max Holloway in the Discord, and you were right. Take a bow, Nate Brown. Congratulations. How are you doing? Thanks for joining us. How's your week been? Have you uh, been able to secure any Brian battles? Maybe out of the mega box that we're going to be opening up today for some bonus content, we can pull a Brian battle auto numbered five or less. That would be cool. Appreciate you, Nate Brown. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the gifted membership. Too kind of you. Caesar says Rubicon. Oh, ah, that makes sense. A river in Italy, the point of no return. Julius Caesar. Thank you. That makes sense. I have heard of the Rubicon now that you mention it and describe it like that. Thank you for letting me know. That is an awesome inspiration for the name. It makes much more sense than a random operation from a Gundam anime from 1989. Brian Bear says finish opening. Got Norman and Sada Trainer Arts and Cycles are Slitherwing Arts. No SAR cards, but some still some nice cards. Yo, that's sick, Brian. That sounds like a good one overall. I've opened up some Paradox Rift with, I, I didn't get any special illustration rare or gold. So it's nice that you got a gold there. That's hype. Reverse Slugma. Ooh, behind the Reverse Slugma, the Cinchino illustration rare. Yo, and I didn't have this one. I had the Minchino, but not the Cinchino. So we completed the pair. Let's go. Yo, let's go. 
That is awesome. Let's go grab this. In, let's go grab the Mancino to show off the pairing. Boom, boom, boom. I wanted to pull. Hey. Oh, so when I was reading about. Oh, you know what? I didn't even realize these illustration rares have facts on them right here. The way, the way it brushes away grime with its tail can be helpful when cleaning, but its focus on spotlessness can make cleaning more of a hassle. So this is the Mancino as it's trying to clean, and then here it evolves, and look at how clean the room is. Now it's all super clean. Its body secretes oil that this Pokemon spreads over its nest as a coating to protect it from dust. Sanchino won't tolerate even a speck of the stuff. I gotta start reading. Okay, from now on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and remember to read the fact whenever we pull an illustration rare for the first time. Th that's that's cool. All right, that's a hype pull. I'm very happy about that one. I definitely wanted that pull. I wanted that card. We completed the story there. Can we get the uh, the pair for the uh, the saws buck? We've got the we we've got the saws buck. Now we just needed the deerling. Susan's dropping the fire. Popstar Cheetos is dropping the fire. Let's go. OTP Best Arena dropping a heart. Awesome. Two Binder Love illustration rares. Let's go. Yo, and we got Pokeballer Mike, the legend. How's it going? PBM hype. Love that Kirby hat that you were rocking. How are you doing? How's the day been going? How's the week been going? A gentle slap, haha, says Susan. I bought a few, says, says Nate Brown, a few of the mega boxes. Sounds like you haven't hit one yet, but hopefully we can change that. Creeper Mr. Mime in the window. I didn't even notice that one, Jason. <laughs> let's, let's. Oh, 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 wow. Pokeballer Mike Flex in the 19 months. We're gonna stand up slowly with my knee. Hype gang for life. Pull some bangers, homie. Yo, thank you so much, Pokeballer Mike. Truly appreciate the 19 months. Make sure you go check out Pokeballer Mike, the absolute legend. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again in a couple weeks. I mean, a month and a couple weeks or so. Card party two. It's gonna be a banger. A double banger, because it's the second card party. Looking forward to seeing you there. Hope you have a safe drive home, and appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. I think I saw that Fortnite is getting an update with Avatar The Last Airbender skins. Is that real? Did you see that? Let me know when you get home safely. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Pokeballer Mike. Make sure you all check out Pokeballer Mike as well, if you haven't already. Show some love to the legend. Awesome channel, awesome giveaways, awesome person. He's going to card party too. Snob. Explores guidance. Colossal. And he's got an awesome Discord as well. Make sure you check out his Discord. Reverse Shaman. The Reverse Golurk. And the Coridon. All right, two more packs and they're both the Raging Bull artworks. I enjoyed your latest hunt video, says Susan. I agree, Susan. I enjoyed that one as well. I actually was mentioning to Susan that I almost did a hunt video because I liked yours so much. I, it made me it made me want to do a hunt video. And there's been, there's been some good stock. There's been some good stock lately in, in Target. A lot of this stuff here can find at Target. They got the new Topps Chrome UFC Mega Boxes. We got the Three Brothers Ultra Deck. We got the Temporal Forces. There's a lot of stuff right now that I'm liking. Top Champion Dog Owner jumping in the raffle. Yo, how's it going, Top Champion? Appreciate that, Susan. You're a legend. Hope you've been good. I pulled a Chrome Veteran Auto, but it was an Ozdemir, says Nate Brown. Oh, no. that's There's no time for an Ozdemir pull. BBM. Hope your Friday's going good, says Nate Brown. All is well here, Pokeball Mike, says Susan. Explorer's Guidance. Reverse Cypher Maniacs Code Breaking. Reverse Matang. Ooh, we got something here. Is this Torterra EX? Adding it to the giveaway pile as well, along with the Fridge Raft and the Gouging Fire. All right, we got one more pack left in the ETB. Can we pull another hit? We got two EXs, a Terra EX, and an Illustration Rare. Can we see something else? Yo, Billy Hall. How's it going, Billy Hall? Welcome. Mike, I opened that box and I got a Dom Cruise auto. Oh, nice. A Dom Cruise auto is a nice one. Nate Brown. Psychic Energy. I've been lucky with OPO6 at my Walmart. Oh, that's fire, Dax Grassmaster. I actually still need to, I need to get just one sealed pack of OPO6 for my collection. 
I saw that the Pokeballers actually has booster boxes in stock right now, which is pretty fire. Electabuzz. Shout out to the Pokeball Mart. They've been selling product at MSRP prices, which is awesome because there's a lot of other places that do not do that. Heavy Baton, Reverse Duosion, Reverse Shiftry, and the Feraligator. Some Gen 2 action there. So no last pack magic. We did get a couple EXs. We did get that Finder Love Sinchino illustration rare. So happy about that one. Should we jump into the Ultra Brothers 3D? You know what? I'm going to do this single pack. I'm going to do this single pack of Temporal Forces. And then let me know in the chat. Do you want to see the, the Ultra deck? Or do you want to see the Armor Rouge Premium Collection next? Armor Rouge? Or Ultra deck? Let me know what you want to see next. Gladiator Collectibles. Yo, Albert, how is it going? I'm going to be lurking before my father's birthday. Yo, happy birthday to your father, top champion dog owner. Hope he has a great one. Gladiator Collectibles. How's it going, Albert? Psychic Energy. We got a Pikachu. We got a Ghastly. Elgium. The Sizzlipede. Explorer's Guidance. Colossal. Perilous Jungle. Sableye. Table I reverse. Reverse Mr. Mime and the Maridon. All right, well, with the first single pack we got, we got some nice first pack magic binder love. Not as lucky with the second one, but we take those. One for two, we take those for sure. Ultra deck first. Ultra deck. I'm seeing multiple. Mul I'm see I want to see that UFC since Gladiator Collectibles. I want to see that UFC too. I want to see that UFC too. If you haven't already, greatly appreciate if you smash that like button. 50 likes. We opening up the UFC bonus content. Let's see if we can pull. And I'm curious to see. So I was looking at the prices of the promos yesterday, and it was pre-sale prices. I'm curious to see how much prices have changed. Um, latest sets. Three brothers. So here you go right off the bat. Right off the bat, unopened, this deck is selling on TCG Player for $56 a piece. Shout out to Pokeballers because Pokeballers is selling them for $30 a piece. Awesome deal, Got, gotta give them a shout out. I picked up two. And a lot of these are without the promos. See the ones that are the ones that are like thirty dollars are selling them without the promo pack because this includes a deck, and the deck's got a lot of awesome cards in it. But in addition to that, there's a promo pack that has three alternate arts. So if you want to see what are the prices of the alternate arts right now, it looks like the leader Luffy is the top one, the Sabo and the Ace. All the leaders are the top ones right now. And then below that is the super rares, commons, the garp over here. But it's nice to see, the prices have gone down a lot of these. So yesterday, like the, the Curly Dedan was $17. So nice to see, and the garp was $45. So nice to see that they've gone down and people just didn't buy the panic FOMO prices. I hope they honestly continue to go down because I'd like to get, you know, I'd like these to be more collectible and affordable for people like the uh, gift collection set was. I, I really, in particular, like these artworks. The young version of Ace, Luffy, and Sabo. I think those are really, really cool. I do really like the super rare artwork as well because it's got some nice foiling and texture on the fire. So here's Sabo, here's Ace. We do have that Ace. And then the Luffy. And then artwork wise, just my, my pure favorites, because I think they look the coolest, are these three right here. The Luffy leader, which is a very good leader in the, in the, in the game. The Sabo and the Ace. So let's see if we can pull one of those leaders. That would be, that would be awesome. Yo, Jeremy Newman of the Zard Mafia. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Put the binder love. 
over here and we'll open up the ultra deck. So I really do like that they include the deck in the deck box that comes with it as an accessory. I think that's pretty smart packaging from them. It's pretty uh, a good way to consolidate and use less plastic. You do also get instructions and they are, uh, I'll go full screen so you can see this a little bit better. It explains how to play the game, but then on the other side, is a play mat. So you can put your cards on this and use this for when you're playing the game. And then inside of the deck box, you're gonna get two things. So number one is this promo pack, which is gonna have three cards and they're gonna be alternate art versions of the cards inside this deck. And then here, is the deck itself. If you wanna see all the cards inside, I've got a video on the channel going over everything inside. But I think for now, I wanna see these promos. Can we get a leader card? Ooh, I'm seeing something that I like right off the bat. I'm seeing one of the cards that I wanted. Nice. All right. We got the Sabo. So nice to see one of the three brothers there. The Sabo character. I wanted that one. Oh, the Monkey D. Luffy leader. Yo, this is the one that I wanted. Let's freaking go. Yo, chase card bold from it. First pack magic, let's go. Boom, the Luffy leader. And then behind it, the monkey D carp. Let's go. That's how we do it, baby. That's how we do it. Luffy leader, let's go. We gotta stand up slowly and, fish and belly drum that. Boom, let's go! We got the best hit! Tina Marie's dropping the celebrations! Pop Shark Cheetos is dropping the fire! Jonathan86 is dropping the fire in the eyes! A Let's Go says off center Johnny! Nate Brown's dropping the fire! Pocket Packs says let's go! Dax Crashmaster's dropping the screaming emojis! Dax Crashmaster's dropping more exploding and screaming emojis! Pop Shark Cheetos is dropping more screaming emojis! Cali Dude says nice! Plebosaurus Rex says hype! Seven Brass is dropping the fire! Mythic Monty's dropping the fire! Stelios Lopakis is dropping the fire and says hype! Rina's dropping the Gengar hype emoji! That deserves a backflip! I cannot do a backflip! Rig V Max Nakama's dropping the fire as well! Pop Star Cheetos is dropping more fire! Let's go! Gig JV is dropping the fire! Awesome, awesome, awesome! Let's go! Hell yeah! That's the one that I wanted! Yeah, that is awesome. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And the Garp and the Sabo, both of those look great as well. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I really like the, okay, I, I gotta open up. I might have to open up another one of these at some point. I may have to pick up maybe one more to open at Target. <laughs> that was, I, I enjoy opening up, I enjoy opening up the promo packs for One Piece. They do a really good job. I really like this style too. It's like the OPO3 leader style. Super sick. Like, uh, like this. So as you can tell, I, I like the style of artwork. We got the BGS 10 Katakuri. Damn, I'm really happy with this card. Oh, man. Tempted even. I'm 
Tempted to even grade it, I'm not gonna lie. It's a very playable card. But it also looks super, super cool. Tempted to add that one to the grading pile. I, I think I'm gonna do another PSA submission. I'm just kind of finalizing what cards I wanna send. So maybe even, maybe even next week, I might even include as part of the stream going over the cards in my potential PSA submission. Or maybe a video, I haven't decided yet. One of the two. But awesome. Japanese says pocket packs. Yeah, I normally, I normally don't go Japanese, but I couldn't resist for the Katakuri. I couldn't wait for him to come out in English. As soon as that card came out, I immediately bought it the day that it came out. I actually bought, I bought two copies of the leader and I bought four copies of the regular secret rare. I sent them all into BGS. I got tens on both of the leaders and 9.5s on all of the characters. So I sold all of them except for that one 10. To have all three from Sick Baby, the leader, and Altar promo, that's exactly what I want, Dax Grassmaster. I want all three of the like the kid version, the character version, and the leader version. I think that would look super cool as like a nine pocket binder page. I think that would look really, really cool. Alright. Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge box next. We'll do the Armor Rouge, we'll do the Pokemon, and then the UFC. And then we'll run the giveaway. Why are your screens so dark today? I, says Jeremy Newman. Huh, I don't know, is, is, my, is my screen dark today? Is anyone else seeing that? I have a cool three ring one piece binder that would look good in. Ooh, that does sound nice. Gigs JV. How's it going today? How's your day going, Gigs JV? Take a look at all the promos. I think a couple of them, one of them fell out, so I gotta be careful. Oh, there it is. I don't wanna roll over in the chair. All right. We got the Cerulege Cosmo Hollow Foil. We got the Charcadet, Cosmo Hollow Foil, and then we got the Armor Rouge Full Art Promo. Really cool promos that come in this product. I'm really liking these Premium Collection um, EX boxes. I feel like they're pretty cool. Charizard, the Gyarados, and now the Armor Rouge. And then here is the stand. And I wanna see, here's the Charizard one that we've got previously. So you can see the differences between the two. The Charizard almost has more of like a camo style red to it. And then this has more of like a flame, like lava wave like design to it. I think, I think these are really cool products. Let me know, are you guys a fan of the One Touch displays that they've been including? Oh, I had a reverse. Here we go. Do you guys like these? Are these not for you? I personally am a big fan of them, especially when you have like other cards that they can match with. So right now I'm just using the promos in them, but there's some other cards that I think would look really nice in these. Let me know if you have any suggestions. Like the, Char the regular Charizard, um, EX Special Illustration Rare from Pokemon 151, I'm sure would look great in this. Maybe the Gouging Fire would look really cool in this one. Let's pull it and find out. And then what packs do you get in here? We got Paradox Rift, Temporal Forces. Here's the, uh, the, the code card. We got Obsidian Flames, Temporal Forces, Paradox Rift, and Obsidian Flames. So it looks like two Obsidian Flames, two Paradox Rift, and two Temporal Forces. And then you get sleeves as well. I'm a fan of the Cerulege and the Armor Rouge Pokemon, so I like these sleeves. 
Yo, Guillermo. Guillermo Amigo Soto, how's it going? All good, Albino. Hope you're mega happy with Luffy. I'm hoping to get one too, haha. -ha. I am mega, mega, mega happy, Giggs JV. Thank you, thank you, and good luck on your hunt. I hope you can pull one too. The one touch cases are definitely one of the better extras that they've come up with for premium boxes. Let's go, Savin Brass. I like them, but not for MSRPs. Fair, Jason. I'm sure they'll come in on uh, good deals. The Full Art 151s are looks good in it. Ooh, that's a good card. That's a good call as well, Jason Maquette. I should try that one. Good call. Steel Energy. Caravania. Lechonk. Fungus. I can show you a Charizard that would look amazing in there. Jeremy Newman, I would like to see that. You have that. Yo, Dice? Dice K TV? Daisuke TV, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate that and hope that you're having an awesome day. Truly appreciate the sub. If you're watching, let me know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate the sub and hope that you're having an awesome day. You, um, Jeremy Newman, the Zard Mafia, you, you have that tops clear Charizard, right? Or did I make that up? Chandelier, Patrol Cat, Blossom, the Magnazone, Reverse Darkrai, and the Scovillain. Paradox Rift up next. Still a lot of stuff that we're hunting for in Paradox Rift. I'll send you a pick on IG later. I'll check out, I'll look out for it, Jeremy Newman. Thank you. Code card. Yes, I do. Nice. Jealous of that. That's a six R. Tandem Mouse. Toad School, Komiya artwork. Toxel, the Yukimori. Two of my favorite illustrators right there. Crobat, shout out Susan. Rourke. Reverse Gibble, Reverse Toad School, two different Toad School artworks, and the Garganackle, shining down upon the Garganackle. All right, doing Obsidian Flames pack next. See if we can pull a Charizard. Yo, Parker2, thank you, Parker2, for subscribing. Appreciate that. Hope that you're having an awesome day as well. How's it going, Parker2, if you're watching? Let me know how's your day going. Appreciate you. Thank you for the subscribing. Bunnelby. Smoliv. Pidgey. Combi. Umbreon. Oof. Like that Umbreon artwork. Yo, we're due. We are due for some Eeveelution artwork in the Scarlet and Violet era. I'm telling you, they are ripe for some awesome artwork, especially with the Terrestrialization. Masquerade. Houndoom Reverse. Show me. Show me. Reverse Masquerade. Oh, but we got something behind the Reverse Masquerade. What is this going to be? Oh, the Terra EX SQ. That's a nice one. I thought for a second we were about to pull the char Fist Bump Energy. Okay, you, you know what? I, I should have done the pack track. I would have known that was going to be a hit. It was a Fist Bump Energy. Nice hit, though. The SQ Terra EX, I thought for a second it was going to be the Charizard. But that's a fun one. We're going to add that one to the giveaway pile as well. The SQ, a little penguin ice cube. This one I'm going to show you is older and kind of better in art form. Ah, is it, uh, who's it illustrated by, Jeremy Newman? Yo, Eric Shadow Knight. How's it going, Eric Knight? Parker Tube jumping in the raffle. Yo, how's it going, Parker Tube? My day's going good. Glad to hear, Parker. Thank you for subbing and thank you for letting me know how your day's going. Iron Treads, Buddy Buddy Poffin, Lycanroc, Reverse Colossal, Reverse Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, and the Relicanth. All right, two packs left. We got a Full Art Terra EX, but we want to spice it up a little bit more. Paradox Rift, Temporal Forces. Let's go with Paradox Rift up next. Haven't pulled the Iron Valiant or the Roaring Moon from Paradox Rift. Those would be sick pulls to get. Code card. Psychic Energy. Knackly. Nimble. The Amask. Spinda. Earthworm. Yo, shout out Brian Bear. We got an Earthworm. Absol, the Shinji Kanda artwork. Crobat, shout out Susan. Future Booster Energy Capsule Reverse. Reverse Horsey, and an EX for the Iron Hands. Very playable card in the TCG. Adding that one into the giveaway pile as well. Last pack, Magic. Yo, buddy, buddy the Doge. How's it going, buddy? 
Welcome, welcome, welcome. How is your day going, buddy? The Doge. Code card. Fire energy. Earthworms is Brian Bear. Knew, knew he'd like that one. Bramblin. Terrafarig. Roselia. Palafin. The Screamtail. The Heavy Baton. The Iron Hands Reverse. The Reverse Excadrill. And the D Dunsparce. All right, we got the Iron Hands and we got the SQ EX. Nice to add both of those into the giveaway pile. And then I got the promos. And that one touch accessory. So I'm gonna clean off the table a little bit. Pocket pack, saying hello to buddy. All right, we got one more ETB to open up. The walking, or the, the iron leaves. And then we'll open up the UFC Mega Box. Let's see if we can get some Alex Perez. Let's see if we can get some Brian Battle autograph action. If you haven't already, exclamation mark raffle to jump into the giveaway. And if you haven't already, we'd greatly appreciate it if you could smash that like button. Looks like we're just a few likes away from the 50 likes bonus content. I think you had a one instead of the exclamation mark, Leland Lee, if you want to try again. Got a one-pack Gecko Alt leader snipe this morning. Yo, buddy, the Doge, that's a fire snipe. The Gecko Alt Art leader is a dope one. Congrats. All right. We got the code card. Packs. Can we get a special illustration rare? I'm a believer, says Pokey Bronx. Appreciate that. Ryden Gom says, Yo, Albino, yo, Ryden, how's it going? I should have your package tomorrow. Yo, let's go, Jeremy. Thank you for the update. Hope it arrives safely to you. Blessings all. Yo, blessings to you too, Pokey Bronx, aka Uncle Rico. Seven Brass says 51 likes. Yo, thank you everyone for smashing that like button, unlocking the UFC Tops Chrome Mega Box bonus content. One autograph card per box. Let's see if we can get something spicy. Let's see if we can get something spicy from this ETB. Hoot Hoot. Beldum. Breloom. Heatmore. Sandy Shocks. Bahem. The Rapidash. Morty's Conviction. Oh, I want that Morty's Conviction special illustration rare. Reverse Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. And the Flutter Mane. Let's see that Gengar. Seven Brass, how's everything, um, brother? Loving the gaming videos. I'll have to check those out. Thank you for the shout out, Pokey Bronx, aka Uncle Rico. Everyone, go check out Seven Brass for the gaming videos. Code card. Steel Energy. Golet. Elgium. Meltan. The Nuzleaf. Charging forward. Electivire. Sinchino. Sableye, Knocked Owl Reverse, Reverse Zorora, and we got an EX, the Raging Bolt EX. All right, we had the Gouging Fire in the first ETV. Now we got the Raging Bolt in this one. Two more days to the WWE Raw event in Columbus. Yo, that's hype, T Dog. Is there a match in particular that you're excited for? Walking Wake Pack artwork. Yo, I tried to go into the, I tried to download the DLCs and tried to catch the Walking Wake in game. Did not realize they were an event exclusive Pokemon and that the event has run three times and is like apparently unlikely to run again. And so is like Walking Wake just not catchable anymore? Let me know if anyone has any suggestions. I kind of want to catch the Walking Wake, Raging Bolt, Gouging Fire in game. I can do the Raging Bolt and I can do Actually, I can do the Raging Bolt and I can't do the, the walking or um, the gouging fire because they're 
Scarlet exclusive, and I have Violet. So I might try and catch the Iron Leaves, and I might try and catch... I think it's the Iron Crown. And see if I can trade someone, but I don't know. Let me know if that's worth it. The Women's World title? Oh, that's hype, T-Dog. I make gaming videos, but I just dreamed about making content. Oh, okay, maybe not then. Beat off, Finko, Iron Jugulus, Lycanroc, Salvatore. Maybe I misunderstood. Reverse LGM. Centiscourge Reverse, and the Fluttermane. I want to see Logan Paul fight, says Parker Tube. Well, Logan Paul or his brother Jake Paul is going to be fighting Mike Tyson. I don't know. If, I wonder if Logan Paul will do another boxing match. We got, this is the Iron Crown, right? Yeah. The Iron Crown. We want, show me an Ancient Paradox special illustration there. Bramblin', Giraffery, Cutify, Roselia, Scorch, Buddy Buddy Poffin. Iron Treads, Haunter Reverse, Illustration Rare behind the Haunter, the Metagross Illustration Rare, yo, another binder love, this is a sick artwork, really like this one, holy cow, that is super, super cool, reminded me of Vacations in Canada, yo, definitely not Florida vibes on this one, but very fun vibes, I really like this artwork, there is some really good artwork in Temporal Forces. I, I'm really enjoying opening up this set, I must, I must say. I must say, I enjoyed this set. That is awesome. Let's freaking go. Pokey Rev versus Logan Paul's his pocket packs. That would be, that would be an, an epic fight. Pack battle or not, I would watch that. Nintendo Switch coming out with new One Piece games supposed to come with promo cards. Ooh, thank you for letting me know Dax Grass Master. I did not know about that. Thank you for the heads up. Banger, says Dax Grass Master. Agreed. Jonathan86 dropping the fire. OTP do it best arena dropping the Gengar hype. Jake isn't fighting Mike Tyson. He uses new punching bag soon. Tyson will hurt him. Jeremy, Jeremy Newman. I, I, I hope it's a real fight. I hope it's not just like a... I, I hope it's not just like a tacit agreement behind the scenes. Basic en uh, electric energy. Hey, that's what's up, Dax. I'll check that out in a little, says Off Center Johnny. Pops our Cheetos drop in the fire. Save Solid doing a raffle check. Caliphon. Screamtail. Heavy Baton. The Drillbur Reverse. The Reverse Bolton. And the Sizor EX. Adding that one into the giveaway pile. Nice Sizor EX there. All right, Iron Leaves up next. Off Center Johnny. Yes, sir. I don't know, Tyson's my favorite fighter, but dude's almost 60. He is, he is getting up there in age. He is getting up there in age, and age does make a difference. Drillbur, Relor, Ponyta, Chatot, The Boxed Order, The Rebombi, The Future Booster Energy Capsule, Reverse Manchino Yukamori, Reverse Roaring Moon, and The Iron Valiant. All right, three packs left, the final three. Let's see if we can snag special illustration round. No albino manatee versus um uh, albino manatee versus Logan Paul for the WWE US Championship. Sign me up for that one, T Dog. I, I will I will gladly do that. That would be awesome. That would be epic. Basic water energy. Beldum. Logan Paul is done boxing. After all, him and KSI are busy with the prime beverage. True. Thing things are heating up with the prime beverage. My brother loves to drink the prime. Sandy shocks. His fridge is stocked. Reuniclus, Sableye, Chaton, oh, the Iron Leaves EX Full Art. Yo, that's a nice hit. Sick Iron Leaves EX Full Art. I'm pretty sure this is a playable card too. And we'll add this one into the giveaway pile. So nice, we're adding another Full Art into the giveaway pile. The Iron Leaves EX. The Japanese 150 way, 151 is way cheaper than ever now. Oh, Safe Sawa, good looks on that. You know, Pokemon 151, awesome, awesome, awesome set. I think if I think I may need to open up some more Pokemon 151 because I'm still hunting for. Never pulled the God Pack. I need that Squirtle. 
I need the uh, the Caterpie, the Dragonair. There's a couple cards from there I still need. The Giovanni's Charisma, Morty's Conviction, Shiftry, Bianca's Devotion, Raichu Reverse, Reverse Breloom, and the Ferrigiraf EX. We're adding another Ferrigiraf EX into the giveaway pile. Last pack magic, the Iron Leaves. I tried Prime, I didn't care for it, not for everyone, I guess. You know what, Jeremy? I actually didn't like it the first time I had it either. It grows on you, and it definitely depends on the flavor. Jonathan86 dropping the fire, Daxgrass Master dropping the fire, and the plants. Prime Iron Mike was levels beyond anyone I've seen so far. He was a destroyer. I'm a fan of the non-caffeine Prime. Ooh, I haven't tried the non-caffeine Prime. Slugma. I like the ice pop flavor. Skitty. Electabuzz. Last pack magic. Can we do it? Perilous Jungle. Unpheasant. Airy. Reverse Mudbray. Reverse Meryl. And the Whimsicott. Scotty. No last pack magic, but some awesome, awesome pulls for sure. We still got a UFC Topps Chrome Hobby Box to open up. But very nice. there put these here boom 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 all righty we'll do the tops chrome hobby box and then we will do the marble race i'm definitely very happy about the binder love that we got we got a nice little stack for the giveaway pile as well Some full arts in there Curly to Dan in the video that we opened up on the channel. And let us crack the seal of this mega box. I pulled the Walking Wake EX SIR yesterday. Parker 2, that is hype. Congratulations, that is a dope pull for sure. One of one, one of one, says Buddy the Doge. Can we do it? That would be so sick. If we pulled a one out of one, that would be incredibly hype. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's pull another one out of one. This is the first one out of one we ever pulled on the channel. The Tuscan Warrior from Star Wars Tops. Was it Panini? Was just my unlucky? We had some fun with Panini. Panini has some good stuff for us. I won't say unlucky, but. How many packs do we got in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six packs. All right. So if you're wondering what's inside one of these mega boxes, six packs. Eight trading cards inside each pack. One of these packs will have an autograph. Doesn't have to be a good autograph. Vulcan Ozdemir. We're looking for, especially in particular, any Alex Perea cards. Adjust the camera up a little bit. Vulcan No Time Ozdemir. <laughs> That's okay. Non-numbered, but you, you like to see the Khabib. Nice quality looking cards on the Topps Chrome. I mean, that's what you like to see when you're opening up. You like to see Khabib, Habib, followed by Charles Oliveira. Very nice. Brandon Royval. Oh, the first pack. Johnny Parsons rookie auto. So we did get a rookie autograph, first pack magic, Johnny Parsons. I'll be honest, I don't know I don't know if Johnny Parsons is good or not. Is anyone familiar? We did get a nice, I mean, it's a nice looking autograph. It's a rookie auto, well centered on the sticker, so I'm not upset about it. And then the Donald Cerrone Hall of Fame. Knockout artist is Dasgrass Master. You know what, Let's after this pack, we'll take a look at Johnny Parsons' record. Donald Cerrone for the Hall of Fame. Holly Holm on the X. I think these are called the X Factors. 
and off. So Deke Youssef, two people who both lost at UFC 300. All right, that, was, that wasn't a great finish to the pack, but the Johnny Parsons autograph was pretty cool. So let's take a look at uh, Johnny Parsons' record. So he's nine and three. Oh, wait, let's see if. The Sluggernaut. Okay, I like his nickname, the Sluggernaut. Okay. Oh, oh wow, okay. All right, so he started off his career a little rough, but it looks like he's on a good run right now. One, two, three, four, five, six fights in a row he's won. One of them was Dana White Contender Series, and then he comes into the UFC. It looks like it's been a, almost a year since he last fought, but he won by TKO against Danny Roberts, who's a good fighter. Johnny Parsons, the slug or not. I think I watched that fight and I think I enjoyed it a lot. So, all right, that's pretty cool. I'll take that. That's a, that's a cool that's a cool rookie autograph to get. Johnny Parsons, the slug or not. Well, let's see if we can get a Poeton X Factor. That'd be cool. Are we talking about the best ways to drink Prime? Prime is only good diluted in a gallon of water. It's like 10 times the amount of electrolytes one needs in a day. Terrible for your kidneys. It's funny you were mentioning, you're mentioning that because I was actually saying that to my brother. I was like, it's almost loaded up with too much stuff that I think it could be bad for you. And he's like, it's funny. You know, the more I started drinking Prime, the worse I felt. But I gotta keep drinking it. <laughs> Vicente Luque. Tito Ortiz. Derek Lewis. Fun pose for Derek Lewis. He's doing it. He looks like me after I get a good pull. Gabriel Miranda. He's got a nice stash there. Looks like this isn't this isn't the X Factor. This is a hyper for Jack Hermanson. All right, I'm gonna be honest. That's not that's not good. We don't like those. He did have a nice veteran performance, and I have seen him fight live, which is cool, but. It's like a fired up insert. Patty Pimblet. Okay, that's a fun one. Patty Pimblet insert. Okay, I'll take that. Flexing the six pack there. And then here's our X Factors. Josh Emmett. Don't love it, don't hate it. Horizontal. Yair Rodriguez. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Here's Yair Rodriguez kicking Josh Emmett. It's a kind of funny pairing. All right, not loving the X Factors that we've pulled so far. Gonna keep it real with y'all, but we're gonna still still get some more good pulls. I'm a personal tra uh, trainer and nutritionist. I keep my clients far away from Prime. Well, I'll take your notes, Evan Viking. Thank you for sharing the words of wisdom. If you're gonna get an auto, might as well be a rookie prospect. Never how high they'll go. Exactly, Mythic Monty, exactly. That's a great way to look at it, because at least now I can root for them and it's something fun. Seems like a good welterweight prospect. Yeah, I think Parsons' last fight was was canceled. Ah, thank you, Nate Brown. Yeah, I, I think that's a good one. It's nice to get the rookies because then, like, it's a little, it's it's like owning a stock in him, so it's a little bit more fun to like follow. He looks like he could cut to lightweight. I think he weathered the first round against Roberts, then put the hammer in the second, if I remember right. You're correct, Nate Brown. He just made it dirty. He turned it into a fight for the slugger knot. The champion, Raquel Pennington. Sadiq Youssef. Yair Rodriguez, show us some new cards. Vertical. Josh Emmett, okay, show us some new cards. Melchizel Conceição, rookie. Brick by brick by brick insert for Armin Sukarian. That's a good one. Okay, Armin just had a nice win over Charles Oliveira. I don't love the design of these inserts, but this is a good fighter to get. like horizontal oh okay we got a good one okay this is the current champion of the flyweight division alexander pantoja that's 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 a good that's a good good x factor horizontal again nasardine imabov good fighter 
Not someone I'm a super big fan of, but I will say I think these X Factors look pretty cool. I hope I'm calling them by the by the next name, by the right name. I think they're called X Factors. It doesn't say refractor on the back, so maybe these wouldn't be worth 40 bucks if it's a Poton, but it would look cool if it's a Poton. So I'd say so far the, the Pantoja is the best one that we've gotten of those. But overall, best card, the Johnny Parsons. Yo, did I miss anything for UFC? I'll show you, uh, I'll show you, Albert. We just got a Pantoja. So here's our, our X Factors that we've gotten so far. Nothing too crazy. Josh Emmett, Hallway Home, Speak Youssef. Um, the Armin, brick by brick insert. The Patty Pimblet insert, a nice Charles, a nice Habib. Those are probably our best pulls so far. And then we got the auto was first pack was uh, Johnny Parsons. So a rookie auto is nice. I'm happy with that. Pinto is such a good fighter with a great story, but man, is he boring outside of the ring. I agree. I'm hoping he can find a way to, to spice things up a little bit. I think Holy should retire. I agree, Gladiator Collectibles. I, th I think she's done. Marcin Tybura. Melissa Gatto. Nicholas Dalby. Holly Holm. Dustin Poirier. Okay, we like the Dustin. Dustin just got announced versus Islam Makachev. Fighting for the title. I would love to see Dustin get the belt. Let's get something numbered. Let's get some, show me something numbered. Uriah Faber, Path Blazers insert. A rookie X Factor. Okay, Choi Sangwoo, maybe a Korean fighter. Okay, that's a fun rookie. And then a silver, Dominic Reyes. Not a fun one. We don't love we don't love the Dominic Reyes. I'm not counting that as a hit. All right, and then last two packs, two packs. All right, two more packs, two more chances for something numbered. Let's see it. Peter Yon, Ryan Spann, Joshua Kulabau, John Jones. All right, John Jones there. Nice photo for him against Surreal Gone. Israel Adesanya against Sean Strickland. Oh, and then the tops, Allen and Jinter for Israel Adesanya. Cool inserts there. Rookie for Mel Kazal. Kenhoto might be interested in this one. And Ariane Lipsky. All right, not too, not too crazy there, not too crazy. All right, last pack. Let's see if we can get something. Late but made it, thankfully. How we doing? Yo, G Windy. Been an awesome stream. How are, how are you doing? I'd say my my poll that I'm happy with. We got some great binder love from Pokemon that I'm really happy with. Some solid giveaway cards, but definitely my favorite poll of the stream is the Monkey D. Luffy alternate art leader from the Ultra deck. Very happy about that. All right, we got Manel Cop, rookie. Rose Namahunas, tied to Ivasa. Aljamain Sterling, shout out Funkmaster for Mythic Monty. Alex Perez, Grant Dawson, brick by brick. Not a great insert. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Horizontal. Okay, you know what? This is my. This is my new favorite X Factor. That's a nice one. The Dustin Poirier. I think this one's gonna go in a, in a, in a pile to the eventually get to the Gobles at some point, the Gobel family. And then last card, Valentina Shevchenko, silver. Not mad at that one, that's a nice photo for the boy Roos. I think was that the last pack? That was the last pack. So I'd say overall, was the Mega Box worth it? I don't think so. I don't think this was, I think this is a, a, on the weaker side of the mega box, but I do like this Johnny Parsons or rookie auto. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think overall the cards look pretty clean. 
I do think that these X factors look really cool. It's a cool parallel design. Don't know if I would buy another Mega Box. I feel like they're, I need to see like maybe one other two. One numbered card would be nice. But we'll take the Johnny Parsons rookie auto. Happy about that. I mean, you can't be upset when you get a card of a guy named the Slugger Knight. That's the hobby for you. Gotta love it. Exactly, Dax Grassmaster. We got some. We got some fun cards there. Some cards that'll probably go into future giveaway piles. And in fact, if the if the person who wins, whoever wins, if you if there was a card in there that you like, let me know. I can throw it into the giveaway pile. But I think with that, it is time to pick the winner for the Marble Race. So we're gonna go back over to the display. Last chance, if you haven't already, exclamation mark raffle to get entered in to win. Exclamation mark raffle. We'll be picking 10 winners and then doing a marble race and seeing who walks home with the giveaway stack. Play. Seen some more tickets. All right. So five, four, three, two, one. And we're going to close the entries. Yo, Great Smokey Pokey and Milanino um, sliding in. Let's go. How y'all doing? We're going to close the entries. And we're going to pick 10 winners. Winner number one, Eric Knight. Winner number two, Pokey Bronx, aka Uncle Rico. Winner number three, Ken X. Winner number four, G Windy. He made it in just in time, G Windy. Rubicon from the river in Italy. Jeremy Newman and the Zard Mafia. Is he gonna walk home with another win? Milanito getting the next spot. Riding the Ocho vibes is Rick V Max the Nakama. ID Gaming X getting spot number nine. And spot number 10, Jonathan86. Let's go. Congrats, everyone, on snagging the spot. Just type anything in the chat to let me know you're still here to claim your spot in the race. GSP's saying hello to everyone. Love to see it. I'm going to go load up the marbles on stream while I'm giving everyone a chance to respond. And I'll also go over one more time what the giveaway stack is right now. So we got the Iron Leaves EX Full Art, the SQ Terra EX Full Art, the Terra EX 2 of the Fridge Wrath, the Raging Bolt EX, the Gouging Fire EX, the Torterra EX, the Sizor EX, and the Iron Hands EX. And then we've got the Curly Dedan from the starter deck that we opened yesterday in a video on the channel. And if there's a UFC card that you liked from the hit pile, other than the Dustin Poirier X Factor, let me know and I can add that one into the giveaway pile as well if you win. The Armin could be a good one. responded let's go milanito eric knight we're waiting on jeremy newman the zard mafia is here pokey bronx aka uncle rico is here so i'll add those three first milanito jay newman and the zard mafia pokey bronx aka uncle rico ken x has not responded G Windy has not responded. Rick V Max has responded. Right. 
Rubicon is here. Jonathan86 is here. All right, we'll go back to the beginning. Eric Knight is here, let's go! Ken X, are you here? We're gonna do a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, pick a new winner. Five, four, three, two, one. Jason Paquette snagging the new spot. All right, we got next. G Windy, glad I came when I did. G Windy is here. ID Gaming X, you are up next. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Sorry, IDX Gaming, we gotta pick a new person. Stelios Lumpakis, snag in the last spot. Stelios, are you still here? Let's go. Jason Paquette is here. Jason Paquette, thank you, Jason. I think that's everyone. Just need to make sure Stelios Lampakis is still here, and he is, let's go! Stelios, it's time to race, absolutely. Team Pokemon jumping in saying, yo! Just in time for the marble race. All right, and I'm making sure I'm showing the track. So first number that I see in the chat is how many times we randomize it. It is the first number that I'll see. Throw it, ooh, you know what? I scrolled up and it was the four in Hawthorne name. Hello Hawthorne, how are you doing? So we're gonna go randomize four times. One, two, three, four. The Cosmic Chaos, this is a good course. Good luck, everyone. Good luck to y'all. We're gonna begin in five, four, three, two, one. Good luck, racers. Who's gonna be taking it home from the Cosmic Chaos? We got packs, or we got hits from Temporal Forces and the Curly Dadan. Everyone is circling the funnel. Who is gonna be the first one to make it down the drain? It looks like, oh, I thought for a moment it was gonna be Rick VMAX, but these marbles are circling and circling. It's gonna take a minute for them to fall down into the, ooh, Pokey Bronx is circling. Rick VMAX is the first to enter the drain, but can he maintain the lead? No, G Windy has taken the first place. Rick VMAX is hot behind, and Jason Paquette is in third place. Melanito in fourth, Stelios Lampakis. They hit the fork in the road. They're going through the loop-to-loop. -loop. Rick VMAX, the Nakamoto, has got G Windy hot behind him. Jason Paquette is on the other loop, leading the charge on loop number two and loop number one. We've got G Windy and Rick VMAX neck and neck. Will they be able to maintain this lead? Or will another marble steal ahead? Stelios and Milanito are neck and neck as well. Jason Paquette is now in there. Oh my gosh, Jason Paquette got launched off and we got all these marbles just got shuttled forward. They're going through the hyperspace cannon right now. We gotta catch up to them. Holy cow, all these marbles are going too fast for the camera, but now they've slowed down to a crawl. G Windy is in first place. He's dodging the pegs, trying not to get launched off of this track. So far, Jason Paquette is the only marble eliminated. Rick VMAX in second, Milanito in third. Can G Windy maintain the lead? He needs to dodge all these pegs and not get launched off of the edge. Can he do it? Oh, he hits a peg, but it doesn't launch him off. Rick VMAX is slowly catching up. Into the corkscrews and into the speed bumps. Will the speed bumps slow him down enough? He's hitting the side, he's going in and out. He's, he's dodging them, he's dodging the speed bumps. He's snaking his way through the track. Oh no, now Rick VMAX is getting the big momentum, but he slows down the momentum, brings to a halt. 
G-Win, he's at the final stretch. Can he survive? And he does! G-Win, he went the win! Let's go, G-Win! Congratulations, he came in just in time, just in time to snag the spot in the marble race and win it all. Let's go, congratulations. I got here for the best parts of SDC. I wish I could get a two hour stream of just this. Maybe I gotta plan something like that sometime. Maybe we gotta plan a whole marble race stream. I think I would run out, I think I would lose my voice halfway into it though. Which marbles are still left? We got Jeremy Newman is stuck on the bump! Jeremy Newman is stuck on the bump! We need a Charizard to come in there and bring- No, he got stuck on the extra bump! There's not enough Mo. We need more Mo for Jeremy Newman! Take the Mo. He's rolling down! He's rolling down! And he makes it in! And the race is concluded. Congratulations, G. Windy. I do believe that is your first Marble Race win on the channel. Correct me if I'm mistaken, but congratulations, longtime supporter, G. Windy. And happy, happy, happy that you could get a dub. Let's freaking go. So, of course, you can hit me up on albinomanatee at gmail.com or you can hit me up Discord. Or Instagram, TikTok, whatever is easiest. Congratulations on the win, G Wendy, and looking forward to getting your giveaway winnings to you. So we'll go back through the stack one more time. I got the Iron Leaves, Full Art, the SQ, EX, Terra, Full Art, the Furry Giraffes. The Raging Bolt, the Gouging Fire, the Torterra, the Sizor, the Iron Hands, and the Curly Dodon Alt Art Promo. Congratulations, G Windy. And if you want it, if you're interested in any of the UFC cards that we opened up on the stream, let me know about that as well. Wow, my little ball is a little special, says Jeremy Newman. A little, a little. But thank you very much, everyone, for the positivity that you showed me. Definitely, I was having a little bit of a rough day, I'm not gonna lie, with my knee. So thank you very much, everyone. You really cheered me up. I really do appreciate it. And let's see if we can go show that same positivity over to someone else who is currently alive in the community. Let us do Control All Bob. Control All Bob actually gave me some great advice about using the promotion tool on video. So I tried it out on my last one. We'll see how it does, but. Let's see if we can uh, show some love back to control all Bob with a raid. That would be awesome. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much, everyone. Truly appreciate all your support and looking forward to seeing you all next week. And G Windy, hit me up and looking forward to getting your giveaway winnings to you. But until then, everyone, I hope that you all have a beautiful rest of your day. Let's go!